Love you guys. Subscribe. Round three. Here we go. Cool. Look at this show. We are supposed to be shooting his show. Yo, don't, don't, don't sit next to me. You guys gonna stay here the whole time? Is he serious or no? For the last four months, all I've heard is that you can't fucking bet you're skinny and you dress like a fucking fourth grader. And all I'm here to say is that now I'm a professional sports gambler, I'm paid to give out picks, I'm sitting courtside at games, and guess what? <coughs> I got my own fucking show. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I've been shit on by everybody. You guys in the comments, my coworkers, my bosses, everybody. And what is this show you ask? It's my tool to give my voice into fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. This early? Two seconds. You're two seconds into your monologue. This fucking sucks. This is hard. I gotta say, I gotta give Jake credit for this. This is hard as fuck. It's my opportunity to give my fucking voice and to tell you all to go fuck yourselves and say how I really feel. And first up, I want to bring in my boss, Mikey Locks. Come on up. Fucking sucks. <laughs> this is, you're my boss. This is your budget. This is what you I just want to say Don't this. shit on my set. I, I want to say this to all the, the viewers, all the fans of Better. I love you. Thank you for consuming our content but I'm really mad at you guys because I had to give this motherfucker a show because of your views, your likes, your comments. It's, it's, what am I supposed to do now? He's basically my fucking boss. And there's boss. nothing you can do about it because everything I do is going to continue to get views on the, the account. Everything I do is going to continue to get likes, continue to get his followers. And because of that, you can't fire me. As much as you want to fire me, you can't. And that's why I'm forever going to be Better's number one picks guy. I don't give a fuck about Mar Mar Million Dollar Marco. I don't give a fuck about Tony. I am Lucky Better's box. number one. You are irrelevant on this account. Nobody knows who you are. You, they know you as Derek's boss. That is why I am the better's number one pick guy and will forever be. But what else do you have to say? No, because I I'm hope. sick. No, please actually stop talking. Because I'm sick of the shit you give me day in and day out. Every time I come to the office, oh, you're late. Oh, make a video, make content. I make content. I'm the only one that makes content. It's the best content. And I give out picks almost four times a week. And a lot of them hit. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I would like to apologize. <laughs> God damn it. So this, this, this first segment, we're, uh, what do we want to call it, Victor? This is going to get cut. Um, Derek's take of the day. Derek's takes. What do you, you guys want? didn't figure this out beforehand? I found so out I was doing this five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the first segment of the show, we got Derek's thoughts. Victor, please come on down and read me the news. I gave you a show and your first segment is Derek's thoughts. <laughs> None of this is going anywhere. This is terrible. <laughs> this is so bad. All right, topic number one. Your guy, Mr. Tom Brady. Speculation he might come out of retirement and sign with the Miami Dolphins. I knew he's coming back. He's always coming back. When he was on Colin Coward's The Herd, he said, what did he say? He was. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he was like, um, and then on his own podcast, he said, I'm not, uh, God damn it, dude. All right, we have our first guest. We have Joey. He's been in my DMs for the last couple months. He sent me like five DMs and I don't respond and he keeps going. Um, and so I figured might as well have him here to talk. Let's see what he has to say. You said you had a lot of shit to say to me, so I'm curious. What do you got? I mean, where do you want to start? Where do you want to start at? Hey, hey <laughs> you, you, you take lead. You're the one that said you got a lot to say. You, you, blew, you blew my parlay, bro. Let's just put it there. On the Super Bowl. What was your parlay? Eagles. I had Eagles all the way, bro. I had them all the way for four weeks. Before yeah, you know, I think that's a pretty bad sign of you as a sports gambler if you blame your losses on other people. <laughs> um, so I think this is more of a reflection on you. This bet was not my fault. I was fucking robbed. I fucking won that bet. The refs fucking stole the game from us. Bro, this was not, I did not lose this bet. Tyler Huntley fucking lost this bet. But if you're gonna sit here and just get mad because I bet on the same team as you, I mean, we could play this game back and forth, but what else we got? So. Okay, I do have to ask you something. I do. How are you feeling about Javonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia? 
I don't give a fuck. I, right now, am on the biggest NBA streak you have seen in quite a while. My head is on NBA bets. If you're gonna come on here and talk to me about you on fucking boxing bets or whatever, I, I don't give a shit. You have to win, you have to win the next 10 bets that you make on the NBA if you want anybody to take it. I don't have to prove myself to anybody, but I mean, I've done that in the past. I'll continue to do that. I'll do it again, and I will absolutely let do you Do that. Know. If you do that, you got my, you, you got my respect. I don't care if I have your respect. I don't want your respect. I don't need your respect. I don't need anybody's respect. You guys talk shit in the comments constantly. You shit on everything about me. My weight, my hair, my, my outfits, everything. You guys think I care. I don't give a shit. I'm a professional sports gambler getting paid to give picks. I'm better's number one picks guy. And you're living in my DMs having a conversation with yourself. And he's silent and he's silent. That's all, you, you can't come back from that. I just wanna, between man to man, I just wanna say, I do respect your profession. See, this is the shit that pisses me off so much. You get, you guys hide behind your phones for so long talking shit. And then when I talk to you, you switch up and you're like, no, but I respect you. The moment I acknowledge what you guys say, you say you respect me. I hate that shit. Bro, just keep saying what you've been saying. <laughs> all right, well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Um, Good luck this year. Appreciate y'all having me on. Good luck to the better team. Uh, I do I definitely support y'all. Watch your content all the time. Even if I'm talking shit, you know, I will. I support y'all. So we don't need or want your luck, but we do appreciate you coming out here to talk tonight. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of Everybody Hates Derek. We're <laughs> oh, that was so bad. It was kind of a trainer. I know it was a train wreck. I was I was sitting in this couch. <laughs> I don't want to pile on. We're not. We can't do it. Like we we can't do the show. I'm gonna bounce back like I always do. I don't like what we we paid them overtime to stay for this. <laughs> like I think maybe we just do social. It was a stupid cigar, dude. I don't even know. This it was kind of a cigar. I think we maybe do uh, just social videos. Maybe try again football season.